Many of us have dogs that scarf their food down so quickly, you have to wonder if they even chewed it at all. Unfortunately, having your dog eat this fast can be really dangerous. Some dangers are obvious, like in humans, they can choke, and eating so quickly can cause vomiting or tummy issues. But with dogs, rapid ingestion increases the risk of a serious medical condition called bloat, and this actually can be life-threatening. But don't worry, there's lots of easy ways we can ensure our dogs eat slower. So let's go over those now. Using a slow feeder bowl. These are bowls that have grooves and different shapes to spread the food out and hence not allowing your dog to take massive bites, which in the end makes them eat quite a bit slower. Place a tennis ball in your dog's bowl. A food motivated dog is usually too busy focusing on the food to even think about the ball, but because the dog has to eat around the ball, it slows down their eating. Freeze your dog's food. This will also help your dog stay hydrated. Some bowls make it easier to freeze food in than others. I'm using my dog's Sleepy Pod Yummy Bowls or our Topple Toys from West Paw. How I do this is, if you're feeding kibble, you can mix in some water or goat's milk like I'm doing or bone broth. And that's it, you're ready to freeze our dinner. This keeps Rossi super busy and occupied while having a lot of fun enjoying his dinner. Put food in interactive puzzle games and toys. Providing mental enrichment during feeding time is a great way to tire up those busy minds. I love puzzles by Nina Audison and the I Dig by iFetch. I also like stuffing a Kong with dinner the dog has to work for. And like I mentioned before, the topple toys work fantastic for this, even when you aren't freezing dinner. Using a snuffle mat. Well, you can make this yourself. I'm not that handy. I bought mine online. Similar to sniffing and searching in the grass, you can use your dog's dinner and let them sniff and search using their brains working for their dinner and hence your dog will also eat slower and have fun doing it. I love this because it's machine washable which makes cleanup super easy for me and he enjoys it too. There's a ton of options online. The biggest difference I've seen is the bottom of them. The one I have is a fabric bottom while some of them aren't. So if you click the description below you'll see a link to the one I use. Hand feeding your dog. This way you control the speed of intake. This is also a great way to put some training time in with feeding time, using food as a reward for simple behaviors. Over time, hand feeding usually results in a dog that eats slower when being fed from his bowl. Mealtime doesn't have to be only about food. Instead, you can incorporate play and mental enrichment and even training. I have a lot of fun mixing up mealtime with all these techniques and hope you and your pup enjoy trying them too. Remember, slower eating is also better for your dog's health and a healthy dog is a happy dog. Hope you guys enjoy this. Let us know what works best for you and your dog.